today we are taking a break from music to remodel the IKEA Tarva six drawer dresser and matching nightstand. Hello guys, we would like to welcome to our first DIY story because I, I was thinking to, to spend over the thousand dollars on the dresser and my oh, love said that. Okay, coming soon more. So I actually found this side table on Marketplace, so it was only like $15. So first we sanded that and put a wood conditioner on it to get ready for being stained. Here we're taking apart the IKEA Tarva 6 drawer dresser, which we bought for a normal price at the store. Now we're staining it and the color that we're using is the Minwax Early American and this color turned out great. We're going for a mid-century modern vibe with kind of a medium oak color so this did the job perfectly. So after sanding and putting a wood conditioner on everything we put one coat of the Minwax stain on and everything's shaping up pretty well. We also bought new handles because we didn't like the ones that were given there and we want it to have a mid-century modern feel. Then came the fun part, measuring out the distance to put the new handles on. It originally comes with two holes kind of equally placed between the sides of the dresser fronts and what we decided to do instead was put one larger handle in the middle. So I'm measuring out all the distances so that we can put the new handles on and we did have to go in with wood filler and um, fill in the old holes and sand them down so that they weren't noticeable. After we drilled the holes, we put one more coat on a few pieces of the stain and then we started to go in with the poly. Our neighbor does a lot of professional woodworking so he was kind enough to come over and help us out with this part. The polyurethane, when you first put it on, there's a lot of bubbles and it can be quite sticky so what you have to do is put one coat, make sure it's really smooth and no drips and then let it dry for about six to seven hours or overnight and then you have to go sand and then go in with another second or even third coat. Now we are on to day two. After we put one coat of stain and one coat of poly, Luba went in and sanded all of these little pieces so that we could go back and put a second coat of poly. Because the polyurethane leaves a layer of bubbles, you have to sand it down first before you put the next layer on so that you get that really nice and glassy finish. Hi guys! Hi, so we are on day three of this project. Yesterday, Lubo wanted to do... I sanded everything and we put the second layer of poly and today it looks like this, guys. So it looks pretty, pretty nice here and it's nice and smooth but there is some still places that you can feel a little bit kind of, you know, bumpy. So what you're gonna do, only on top layers we will put the, we'll sand it and after put the third coat of poly and you will see the results soon. So here we're just putting our last coat of poly on the top surfaces. So not every single board, we just did the very top ones that would be the most visible so that they look the best. Now we're starting to put together the drawers. There were of course so many pieces that didn't get the third coat of poly so they were perfectly dry and ready to start putting them together. Ready for day four. So what's going on today? The previous day we only put together one drawer because of time restraints so we are starting by finishing up the drawers there's six in total and we have chosen to additionally secure all the bolts with wood glue so that the dresser will be a little bit more sturdy and last a good bit longer now we are starting on the dresser our neighbors came to help and their dog boat even came and said hi as well so Altogether, you definitely need more than one person to do this job because it's a lot of parts and some of them are tricky to maneuver and hold and screw in at the same time. So I would highly recommend getting a friend to help you if you decide to build this dresser. So if you've ever built IKEA furniture, you know that the directions are picture only, so it's quite easy to mess it up. We did have kind of one bump in the road 
that was a little bit trickier than I anticipated because we were using the wood glue but we were actually able to take it back apart and put it together once again. So we we're just putting the finishing touches and then the last thing was to put all of those nails in the back to secure it. Hi guys, so we finally finished our DIY first DIY project. So this is the toilet dresser. Look at this smoothness. So we are all done now with our Tarva six drawer dresser and the matching nightstand. So again, we restained it, we refinished it completely, and then we changed the hardware and put it all together. So in the end, we're really happy with the result. We ended up going with the hardware pieces that were pretty sturdy to give the dressers a little bit more heftiness and stability, and we are really thrilled with the result. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and it gave you some ideas for how to remodel.